We're at the Mustang Memory Show. Tons of Mustangs, tons of Mercs, all kinds of cool stuff. We're walking around, and this car just stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> this is my man, Nick. How are you? 64 Mercury, 427 stick shift, straight as can be. Tell yes, us sir. about this car, Nick. Well, I've had it for uh, 20 years. Uh, it was painted 23 years ago. Wow. And it's just a beautiful car. Uh, it was originally a 394 speed car with there, and, and it deserved a 427, so that's what it got. It got a true 64 427. That is, it dynoed at 585 horse, oh, 640 nice. foot pounds of torque. It's got a true solid lifter camshaft, 411 Detroit locker, and it is a uh, top loader four speed. The true big spline top loader four speed. So, right. and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to drive. It's very drivable, uh, but it has a drinking problem. That's okay. You know. <laughs> well, dual quads in a 427. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's just a it's a fun car, you know. It's No one has them. That's the best part about it. Yep. You come to the Mustang show, and there's 900 Mustangs and one Marauder. So, right? And the Marauder is such a unique car with the styling and the design and all the chrome trim and everything yep, on yep. it. What are some of the unique things that stand out to you on this car? Well, this car is just a, it's like a plain but beautiful it's a it's a luxury performance car is what it is right so it, it's just a great car great styling the pointy front end the beautiful taillights and the anodized taillight panel you know it's just it's a gorgeous car yeah it's sleek but it still has that beautiful hard top yeah, fastback it's design it's got the fastback design it came out in 63 and a half right and uh, yeah you know it was for nascar yep so and that's that's what it's all about it's all about beauty and speed even simple things like like the way the bumper wraps under, yep. it comes right up to the front wheel uh, opening. Yep, it's a as opposed to just bumper. having a cutoff uh, bumper. Yeah, where it stops right at the uh, front yeah. there. So talk to me about this engine. You got those beautiful valve covers. Yeah. Everything's period correct. Everything's period correct. It actually has uh, the Hooker Super Competition headers on it, so okay. they come out through the fender well. Oh, Got to keep I the heat that. away from the motor, you know. Yep. And. Uh, the gentleman who built the motor for me worked at Ford Motor at this place here on the engine program back in the day. Nice. So it was built here in Dearborn, and man, it just goes and goes and goes. It's got a lot of power. The the finish on the, I could see myself in the reflection of the car. It's <laughs> just, I mean, a mirror finish just, all, all down to all the... Uh, it's got all the right stuff on it. You yeah. know, and that's when you do a car like this, you kind of want to do it that way. Sure. So... But it is really a lot of fun to drive. It's a gorgeous car. It gets a lot of love because it's, oh, yeah. once again, you pull up into a car show or a cruise night, it's the only one there, and it sounds good. Can we hear it run? Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, and then we'll check out the interior. Could we pull the hood down a little bit? Sure, Show, show kind of like the, uh, yep. those, li those beautiful lines, Mercury beautiful up lines, front. Beautiful lines, Mercury up front. This I is mean, actually, it's funny, this is, and Mercury used a Galaxy hood. Right. And had this bolt-on piece. Uh -huh. They're actually Galaxy doors and they have the bolt-on really? piece. Yeah. Because the Ford equivalent, equivalent of this is a it's Galaxy. Galaxy, exactly. But even little trim stuff, like you've got you've got the grill yep. with that razor shaver, electric shaver kind of grill, yep. but you've got one black and one uh, aluminum. Yep. So it's kind of like a keyboard going on there. Yep. And it's but, anodized, so it's not chrome, but it's got chrome rings. Right. So it just shows you the definition between the the grill and the headlight doors and the, and the bumper itself. But Mercury, so, so so much class. Mercury. Just look at the way the, the chrome trim comes up. Are these up? This is just a trim piece, right? Yep. So on the park lanes, it would have had the blinker in there. Okay. So. All right, let's hear this thing run. Yeah. What's the engine? It's a 427. 427, right? Yep. But Thomas, check this out. Like, we're going bare steelies with the chrome um, lug nuts. Those are Raider 3-inch bullet lug nuts. And if you look at the ones in the rear, those are Cal Custom axle covers. Oh, wow. So those are bad. Those are original. They were in the package from the 60s when I bought them. Look at the size of the rocker panel alone. It's like you're stepping onto a boat. <laughs> it's right. You know, like a, a, a regular Mustang would be like half the width of that. Original Sketchy. Mercury floor mats with a white Mercury head in it. And I just look at the white Mercury across the dash. Yep. I see you got that cool Bill Strop shirt. Hell yeah. That's this a cool a, shirt. This was Bill Jr.'s shirt. Really? So I have a friend who, or drag races, he was out at, in California in the mm. 70s, screwed up his car, 
went to Strobe, asked him if he could use his garage, <laughs> and he, he borrowed his son's shirt, and he said somehow it made it back into his bag when he t went home. But it was a medium, so right. I had this stuff taken off of it and put on a large. Oh, an extra wow. large, actually. And she has the original one. Nice. So Let's hear this thing run. You can hear it run. Make sure the brake's on. Neutral. Electric fuel pump. Man, that sounds rad. Got that is. nice slopey cam. What cam's in it? It's got a Lenati saddle lifter, true saddle lifter cam. Right. It's a 600 lift. Um, it's 615 on the exhaust, so it lets more exhaust out. That's what you want on these 427s. Okay. So, yeah, it's uh, but it's a medium riser. It was built as a medium riser. The aluminum cylinder heads. Right. And what gear are you running in the back? 411 Detroit Locker. Uh, it's the only gear on these. Gotta big cars. have it, man. Yep. Yeah, and it's crazy. The car really. First gear is just to get you out of the hole, and second, third, and fourth gear just sounds like you're sucking the hood in when you're at full acceleration, you know. Oh, I bet, I bet this thing just rips going down the highway. And she drove it here. Oh, fantastic. How's it run, babe? Yeah. That's you, awesome. You, you got to wind it out. I mean, you got to run through the gears, you know. How high do you rev her up? As long as hard as it wants to go. It'll <laughs> go to 75. Oh, wow. You know. But you don't want to break anything in a motor like that, but it's all studded. I mean, speaking of studs, there's Mike Ray, the president Mike of the Mustang Ray. Club. Yep. How are you, brother? What's going on, man? Cool. Get on. That's all right. Been, bro. Mike Ray. Mike Ray. Oh, hold on. Getting a photo here. That's right. Photo bomb. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for bringing the car out, man. Oh, thank you yeah. for having me. Perfect prime spot. I love it. Next year we're having the swap meet. I'm going to run it for you. Are you? Well, everybody's asking me where the swap meet is. Asking it. We get I know. Vendor, so. We're going to be more than that. Trust me. I'm going to need to drive up here. I'll help you. I'll help you. I'm not going to be able to fly. I'm going to have to drive up here. There you go. Okay, cool. Hopefully yep. after this week of Evan's experiences here, you're going to come back now. Oh, that's, that's that, was done, that was done the minute I walked in. There. So no, next year is the 60th, <laughs> I'm just and the year after is 50 years of Moxham. Wow. We're the third oldest club in the country. All right, Abe, this one's for you. You're not going to believe it. So the Green Mercury Wagon was for sale on the Fairlane Club newsletter. I think it was 1985. And uh, my brother said, hey, you got to buy this wagon. It was two, two grand. It was from Arizona. And the, but the guy was in Wisconsin. So I called him. I didn't have to write him a letter back then. He could actually call. So I called him and said, hey, I'll take the car. He met me in uh, Gary, Indiana. Nice place. And uh, I bought the car. It came with, I said, those 15-inch Magnums that are on it. Still on it. Still on it. So listen, this is a great story. I bring it home. It was like February. April comes along. I'm like, I'm going to put the AC belt back on it. Put the AC belt back on it. Turned on, blew cold air. It was crazy. Really? I drove the car. I hope I sold car parts off. Because it doesn't have an AC belt on it. I wonder if I should put it back on and try Dude, it. It blew cold air. And then I had it. Was it a five, four speed when you had it? No. I, I sold to my friend Greg Sanchez. Greg, and I, I was, I'm a vendor, so I had a line on a green cyclone interior. So we went out to this guy, Dick Martinian's house out of, in Washington Township. Bought green bucket seats, the green dash. That's what's in it now, yep. the cyclone dash. Yep. And then... Um, he sold it to a guy who put the Cleveland four barrel four speed in it because it was just a two barrel C4. The car yeah. ran great. I it mean, still runs fantastic. I know. And it still has the original paint on it. I yeah. think you still got that little blister on the left front, left bottom of the left yeah. end, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that guy. I, I put the Eliminator scoop on it for the Woodward Dream Cruise. Still has it. Yep. That's oh, crazy. That's awesome. This is crazy. <laughs> so there's a look at an awesome 64 Marauder. Nick, thank you so much for um, giving us thank you. a peek at this great car. Thank and you. uh, you're welcome. Thanks for checking out the Rev and Evan channel. Come back for more. You got it. <laughs>